Hi, so in this video, we're going to be going through how to create a task list, have that task list automatically applied to a ticket, um, and uh, even uh, have some of those tasks automatically converted into sub tickets. So to create a task list uh, in the tasks app uh, over here under task list, just click on add task lists and we'll call this one uh, onboarding uh, and click OK. Uh, and this will give us a list with zero tasks in it. So we can go in here and start adding uh, tasks uh, like so. I can just uh, type in a task like so. Uh, for each task, you can set notes, a link. Um, if you want to convert this into a sub ticket, you can specify a template, which we cover in a different video uh, here. Um, so we'll just copy uh, details from the parent here. Uh, and you can also um, specify a tag that gets added upon completion. Um, okay, so we're going to uh, quickly create the rest of this task list by clicking on bulk edit tasks here, um, like so. And now we have our task list. Okay, so now we're going to uh, automatically apply this task list uh, at the point a ticket is created and the form is onboarding. And the way that we do that is firstly to uh, edit the, the uh, details of the task list like so, and then to check this box as automatic and click OK. <clears throat> and once we do that, uh, what we get in the list of task lists here is a one-time clickable shortcut to create a trigger that will uh, make that happen. Uh, so if I click on create trigger here, we now get a link to that trigger inside uh, of Zendesk. So we can just click on that to see uh, what's happened. And by default, a, um, uh, a, a very basic trigger has been created that will actually never fire because it's checking for a tag that doesn't exist on the ticket. So uh, now we can kind of go through this trigger and change uh, the rules as to when this trigger will fire uh, to what we want. So we'll say when a ticket is created and the form is onboarding, uh, and then below we can see here that the actions have already been set. So we're going to notify Active Webhook. So that's already uh, working and created by the app. Uh, you don't have to do anything to. Um, and uh, we can remove this uh, rule here as well. So I'm going to click on Save and cool. Now uh, we'll go and uh, test that out to make sure that that's working by clicking on uh, Add here. And I'm going to create a, uh, a, a new test ticket. So we'll just... Uh, put in some uh, test on boarding test uh, and here we'll set the form to uh, on boarding uh, let's just uh, there we go on boarding um, and then I'm going to create this ticket and upon creation we'll be able to see that that trigger has now fired and this task list will automatically be applied to the ticket uh, like so, um, and as you can see as well, uh, in addition to the tasks being uh, spun up, you note, notice when we created that contract signed uh, kind of task, uh, we did specify a ticket template uh, to be applied. So it's, t it's taken that ticket template and automatically spun up a sub ticket um, uh, there for us as well. So that's a little bit of extra information if, if that's what something you're wanting to do. So yeah, that's how to automatically apply a task list to a ticket. Uh, if you got any further questions, email us at support at sweethawk.com. Thanks for watching.